Okay, so our basic console app for this week, or our first one, is write an application that asks the user to enter an integer. Display a statement that indicates whether the integer is odd or even. Save the file as evenodd.java. Okay, so let's do that. I'll save as saving it in week three dot java okay public class it's got to be the same name as your file without the dot java public static void main string square brackets string square brackets args okay we're ready to go so get integer from user display odd or even okay so <clears throat> let's let's create an integer input I'll just call it input um, probably probably could think of a much better name than that let's also declare a scanner because we're going to use key keyboard input scanner uh, KB equals new scanner system dot in we type system dot in inside the brackets there that's all we know about for now so that means the default input device which is our keyboard and I'll just call it KB there and then we need to do an import for scanner import Java dot util dot scanner don't worry if you can't remember all these imports by the end of the term you'll be uh, you'll probably be reeling off dozens of them off the top of your head so but you get used to them as you go so don't worry if you can't do it now as, as you go, as you write questions, you'll, uh, you'll get used to them. Get the input from the user. System.out.println Enter an integer. Get that from the keyboard. So integer or input equals KB, our scanner object, dot next int. So KB is our scanner object. That's representing our keyboard and kb.nextint gets us our next integer from the keyboard whatever the user typed in okay and we want to work out whether it's odd or even so how do you work out if a number is odd or even what does even mean so even means it's means it's evenly divisible by two okay so if a number even evenly so if a number is even like four it's evenly visible by two two goes into four two times with no remainder so what we're really talking about here is the remainder five is odd because two goes into five twice with one remainder six is even because two goes into six three times with zero remainder so we need to look at the remainder and uh, if we can do it we can we could, we could create an integer called remainder and then do the calculations we'll just do it in the if statement straight away Actually, let's 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 save the integer. Int remainder is equal to our input percent percent two. Okay, and if the remainder is equal to zero, we could display the number is even. The number is even. Else, the number is odd. That's all it comes down to. If the, if the remainder of if the remainder after dividing the number by two is zero, it's an even number. Otherwise, if the remainder isn't zero, it's odd. Okay, so let's run that. Control one, control two. Let's type in four. That's even. Let's type in twenty-one, which is odd, and it's odd. And let's type in. Uh, 1053 which is odd and it's odd yep and so on do one more uh, 2044 which is even and it's even okay so our program's working correctly that's all we needed to do it might have seemed hard but it's actually quite a fairly simple thing the whole trick is to remember to use the remainder there's other ways you can do it as well but that's the easiest way okay thanks for watching hope that was useful have a nice day